Where do I start with the law of attraction? There is this beauty and power and magic in creation. All you got to do is line up with your power. And it's the thoughts that you're thinking that control the vibration the body's in. Our emotions are vibrations or frequency. Matching the frequency. The signal that you're creating. There's three steps. The law of attraction. Law of attraction. The law of attraction. The law of attraction. The law of attraction. The law of attraction. Only attraction. Only attraction. Only attraction. Only attraction. Attraction, only attraction. This law is a process of introducing thoughts. It's super easy. Desire is all you need. What you expect is what you attract. It has everything to do with our mind and what we believe. When you believe in a future that you can't see or experience with your senses yet, most people severely overcomplicate one concept. It should be very simple. I know, I know, the law of attraction has been widely discussed, but let's delve into a simplified explanation that draws from the principles of quantum physics. Quantum physics, the study of the fundamental building blocks of our universe, reveals an interesting concept known as wave-particle duality. This principle suggests that everything in our world, including ourselves, exists in the state of potentiality until observed. In simple terms, everything we can imagine exists as a concept or a wave of possibility. Here is where the law of attraction comes into play. It posts that our thoughts and intentions have the power to manifest our desires. But how does this relate to quantum physics? To understand this connection, we need to look at the behavior of particles under observation. When particles are observed individually, they behave as discrete entities. However, when experiments are conducted without direct observation, the particles display wave-like characteristics. In other words, their behavior changes depending on whether they are being observed or not. This intriguing aspect of quantum physics suggests that observation plays a crucial role in shaping reality. Have you noticed how quickly abandoned cities deteriorate? Way faster than if they were still inhabited. And it's not just due to maintenance lack or nature taking over. Non-observed items fall apart much faster. I have observed it with small and large objects and even people. Although this may not have a direct scientific explanation yet, it raises interesting questions about the impact of observation on the world around us. Now let's explore how this observation principle aligns with the law of attraction. According to quantum physics, everything that exists was once in a wave-like state. Our universe is composed of countless waves of possibilities waiting to be observed and transformed into tangible reality. The law of attraction emphasizes that what we focus on becomes our reality by directing our attention and observation toward our desires, we can facilitate that transformation of waves into particles, bringing our desired manifestation to life. The law of attraction also states that endless possibilities of absolutely anything the human mind can imagine do exist. While this is not exactly a scientific fact yet, quantum physics and the study of probability acknowledge the concept. And yes, we don't really know which possibilities are valid and which are completely bonkers. However, bonkers today, mundane reality tomorrow. That's how life on Earth has been going around so far, as history has shown what may have seemed impossible in the past can become a mundane reality in the future. The study of probability suggests that multiple possibilities exist, each with its associated likelihood. This understanding encourages us to embrace the idea that anything we can imagine has a potential to exist as a wave awaiting observation. The law of attraction is based on quantum physics findings. As quantum physics states, anything which has not yet come to tangible existence still exists just as a wave or a possibility. So, everything already exists as a wave, including everything you want. The way to turn it from a wave 
to a particle or bring it to tangible reality is to deliberately observe it. It's that simple. Everything you desire is already here and it already exists. Because it's already done. Your desire is already done. It is already done. And contrary to popular belief, this alignment of our observation with our desired reality is not about ascending to transcendental state or reaching some level of divine vibration, but rather about creating a peaceful state of mind. When we are in a calm and focused state, it becomes easier to direct our attention towards what we want rather than dwelling on our fears or uncertainties. Emotional balance enables us to maintain a positive focus and avoid inadvertently bringing unwanted concepts into reality. And of course, gratitude is the best way to achieve the state. It's the closest feeling to pure love. So sure, if it helps you to achieve a peaceful mind said go for it if listening to megadeth helps you better go for that instead you do you you know what i'm talking about observation can take various forms and there are abundant methods and tactics available to help us focus our attention whether it's affirmation scripting visualizations the key is to carry the observation you apply to things you want to manifest exactly the same way you observe an already existing reality just as we know about the existence of everyday objects like your toothbrush or morning coffee we must cultivate a similar unwavering knowledge that our desired manifestations also exist as energetic potentials awaiting their quantum voyage into reality and that they are truly become intangible things when we start focusing on them as if they were real. On the flip side, if we lack focused and dedicated attention towards specific goals, our future reality will be composed of default experiences based on our existing focus. Moreover, any attention given to unwanted concepts can certainly bring them to life. But as all human beings with willpower and trainable awareness, we possess the ability to recalibrate our focus to stop the wave to particle transformation you don't desire and start transforming the waves of possibilities you want to have in your life. Think of it as a mental experiment where we identify the unwanted and swiftly replace it with the desired. Of course, it will take some time for complex things and concepts to become real under the observation, but as soon as you start the observation or direct your focus at the wave you want to become a particle, the transformation begins instantly. So, to summarize, the observation and subsequent transformation of waves into particles or concepts into reality is a continuous process. It is happening all the time. Ultimately, if we want to ensure that what we have in our lives aligns with our desires, we must direct our observation and focus towards those waves of possibilities we want to get transformed into particles or tangible reality. And the more we focus on it, as if it's already here, the faster it transforms from a wave to a particle, and the more persistent it becomes in our actual experience. That concludes my exploration of the law of attraction through the lens of quantum physics. Remember to stay curious and keep seeking knowledge. Until next time, take care and continue to shape your reality with intention. Mm-hmm.